and hi, I love it. And I am this old. Welcome to my Zen Now. It is Logan's turn. We are so excited to talk about how he was as a baby and when he was first born and then go over where he is now. Donna. I was born at October 4th, 2011. So our first biological child that we had was Hallie, and then we had Max, and we decided that we wanted to try again and have a third. So we tried and tried and tried. Um, we weren't able to get pregnant, so we ended up doing a fertility treatment, getting pregnant, and then having a miscarriage. And it that's- was devastating. Oh my gosh, we were so devastated. That was the worst. Ugh. And I even remember like not telling Hallie and Max that we had had a miscarriage quite yet because we had just found out. And Hallie came over and like kissed my stomach and was like, I can't wait for my new baby brother or sister. And it was just like, I broke down and just cried and cried. So that's when Erin came to me. So I went to her and I said, let's foster and adopt. So I was super excited, signed us up for the classes. As soon as we started the classes, we found out. We were pregnant with Logan. We were pregnant with Logan. So he is our rainbow baby. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it means having a child after a miscarriage. Cause miscarriage is like a storm and just really devastating. And then you get your rainbow after. So we were so excited for Logan to join our family and we were just, over the moon like oh so what was logan like as a baby he was such a good baby he was so calm he only cried when he was hungry or needed a diaper change he's always had the sweetest personality and just been he's not a complainer no he, he never cried very much he just he was chill. He's just the chill one of the family for sure. Look at your shirt that says chill one, okay? Should we have a shirt that says chill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Logan was a little mischievous as if he is a little kid or a toddler. And he once got into a red marker and colored all over himself. I had to take a picture and laugh about it because it was so funny to me. But other than that, he didn't really get into a lot. I think he got into brown sugar one time and dumped it everywhere. <laughs> but you've always loved sugar, huh? Do you remember anything about when you were little? No. You don't remember anything? No. It's been a long time. <laughs> it has been a long time. So Logan and Melinda, when Melinda first came to live in our home with us, they were best friends. They went everywhere together. They hung out together. Like Logan just loved Melinda, which was really cool. But Logan has always gotten along with everybody really well. He is, doesn't fight with anybody. I mean, he has the most easygoing personality. He gets along with everybody. So Logan too is super smart. Don't go crying. <laughs> What's your name? Logan. Logan what? I'm Logan. Say Logan Pettit. Logan Pettit. And how old are you? Uh, Logan Pettit. No, how old are you? Uh, two. Three. He learned to read when he was like four. And then as soon as he started kindergarten, his reading just took off. Um, last year, when everyone was working on plus and minuses in school, he was already on to times. So he's always caught on to school really quickly and always been fast to learn. 
And he's like that with everything. We only have to show him things like one time and he's got it. Like it's so, such a cool ability to have. I wish I had that as a kid. You don't even have to dad. study. <laughs> what? <laughs> did you do really good in school? I did really good in school. Oh. So he did get it from me. <laughs> Actually, I did really good in school until I didn't want to. <laughs> I always did. <laughs> Fun fact about Logan is he always, so he always slept in his own crib and everything. But when he turned about one, two years old, he decided that he would want to sneak in our bed every single night. And we would always try to put him back in his bed and then he would do this crying thing and he would go, but I'm having a bad day. <laughs> and then we would be like, oh, you're having a bad day. We did it a couple nights in a row, but then it, become, it became a habit and it was really hard to get him not to sleep in our bed with us. Do you remember that? You do. <laughs> having a bad day. So it was like an inside joke in our house and for the longest time. And when I was six, time. I would still do that. When you were six, you still tried? He did. He always tried to sneak in our bed. Well, actually, until we got Brody, and then he stopped sneaking in our bed anymore. So I think that's a cool fact. Another cool fact is he is the one that pretty much named Brody. So when Brody came into our home, um, his name was Brian. And he didn't really want to say Brian for some reason, so he would call him bro. And he'd be like, hey bro, or we're always calling him bro. And so everybody in the house started calling him that. So when we were thinking about changing his name or going back and forth, the cool thing is we were like already calling him bro, so we were like Brody, it just makes sense. So Logan named Brody, that's a fun fact. <laughs> One more fun fact about Logan is he is really sensitive. He hardly ever gets into trouble and he's always one to be like do the right thing or always make the right decisions. And if he ever does get in trouble, he instantly cries. Like he's just super sensitive and always tries to do the right thing. <laughs> Who's in your hand? Who are you holding? Logan, who are you holding? Waffle. Waffle? Waffle? Nope. If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. Voices like a mountain song. Sing, you are my only one. Oh my, oh my, oh my day. My favorite color is gold, and my favorite animal is a cheetah. Why a cheetah? Because they're so fast. I thought it's blue. I oh, thought your favorite color. Oh, it changed today? Oh, man. Every month it changes. Blue, gold, blue, gold. Do a front roll. My biggest fear is Don't hurt yourself. A front roll. I thought that's what you were going to do. And my biggest fear is snakes. Oh, What's your favorite video game? I still have to think about it. Is that a hard one? You can have more than one favorite. What are your favorite ones to play? My first is probably Poop Die. What the heck is Poop <laughs> Die? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it later. My favorite game is Poop Die and Minecraft. There's one more. There's one more? What is that? I one more. Seem. You can't remember the name? Yeah. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is football. Oh. He can't catch quite yet, but he's, he's about to do it. Wait, let's be a try, Logan.
What's up guys? When I'm older, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. Logan. <laughs> it's okay. Why are you crying? Logan. Logan. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? I want to watch YouTube. <laughs> That's why you're crying? <laughs> You know his favorite YouTuber is? It's unspeakable. Oh. No? It isn't. no? It isn't. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Hold oh, on, I have to think. Give a shout out to Preston. Oh, I have a favorite. I have a lot of them. A fun fact about me is I like playing with Brody. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school is math and science. No. What is your favorite family vacation? My favorite family vacation. Or where somewhere you want to go? Somewhere I want to go is Texas. Texas? What do you want to see in Texas? He, he wants to see Unspeakable and he wants to no, see Unspeakable and President. No, I just want to go to Great Wolf Lodge and everything. You want to go to Great Wolf Lodge in Texas? That would be so fun. Look, your siblings are home. Hello. Hi, Logan. I'm really sad. Hello, Max. Why are you really sad? Went I went to give her a hug. hug. She went like this. And then she steps and, and goes hug. around. I'm like. It's because you're always too busy for her. And now she's sad. Oh. So sad. Oh, man, <laughs> she gave me a hug. <laughs> Dad. Thanks for watching my Then and Now. Oh, I just got hit with the, you hit me with the, ripped me out. This thing's gone. See you soon, bye.